guys, um, I'm gonna go to the hospital right now, meet with the doctor, show him the results that I made in, uh, in Austria. And from there on out, he will tell us what the plan is, um, when everything is gonna happen. So we'll see you after that. So yeah, I'll bring you news after the, when I come back home. So it is the next day that I went to the doctor's office. Um, it went good. I met the doctor. I, I felt confident with this knowledge. He showed me everything. I showed him the MRI scans. I showed him everything. So he saw it there. He already seen it before because my agent sent it to him. Um, yeah. Uh, this time um, he told me that, of course, the ACL was there. There was a tear in the ACL. There was also damage on the cartilage, and maybe a possible um, something with the meniscus. I don't know if it's broken or not. Well, we don't know because. Um, they're gonna tell us that in the surgery itself. So when he's gonna cut me open, he's gonna see what the damage really is in the cartilage, what the real damage is in the ACL, and what the real damage is in the meniscus. So yeah, uh, his idea is to fix the ACL um, with anything he can save from my own ACL, or he wants to take the ligaments from other parts of my body and put it into the ACL. Um, then the cartilage, he wants to clean that up and he wants to use like, he wants to make a hole in it. I don't know exactly how that works, but he wants to make a hole in it. And he wants to make his new technique, this is his new technique. That is about um, using the mother cells to improve recovery. And it turns out it's really good, it works, it's a more natural way of healing. So I'm interested to see how they do that. And then um, the meniscus again, we'll see what happens. Um, if there's anything wrong with it, we'll see in the surgery itself. We ordered some uh, supplies in case it is. If not, he won't use them, but well, we'll see. I don't know nothing yet. He doesn't need, know either, so we'll see then. And um, beside all this, he wants to also reinforce my knee with some extra, I don't know what he wants to do. He wants to make a cut in, my, in the right side of the leg and he want to reinforce it. I don't know how, but he, he said it will be good because I'm a big guy and I weigh a lot. So with moving around and also for the recovery, he said it's better if I got the reinforcement in my knee. So yeah, that's main, that's that's it. That's what he wants to do. That's gonna be the surgery. It's gonna be on the 8th of March in around, now it's around 10 days or something. Yeah, so that's it. So I'm here in the gym now. Um, yeah, they're making me wear a mask here. Uh, I will do a quick workout. Um, yeah, I try to film as much as possible, but it's a public gym, so I don't know if uh, I'll be able to do a lot, filming-wise. Uh, but yeah, here it is. So I wanted to explain a little bit about the uh, exercises I do in the last video and also in this video. Uh, this first exercise is about activating the muscles around the knee. So what I do is I pull my toes uh, to me while activating the muscles inside my leg. What this does is it pulls the kneecap down and activates all the muscles around it. I do this because when I had the injury, um, it's like a system defense that told me the area around the knee it's like deactivated to protect the knee as much as possible so what we want to do is um is activate it again as we can see also in, the, in this video right now um this is in the morning i filmed this in the morning as you can see every morning it's a little bit more inflated um it's more difficult to activate it it's, it, it happens every morning it's 
normal as far as I know. Um, we can see that the knee is a little bit more, it's hard for the kneecap to go down, that's because the area around is not activated yet. The second exercise is about gaining as much angle as possible without any help. So what I do is I just put my toes up again and then just try to, with the heel, try to slide up to my, up to my body as much as possible. Um, as, as you can see, I don't have a full rotation yet. I don't have a full angle yet. That's because at the end there, I feel like still a little bit of liquid in it. And um, yeah, the muscles are tight around the area. So it's hard for me to go any further than what I'm doing in this video. Um, these exercises, I normally do it, especially the first two ones. I norm normally do it until I really feel good. So uh, there's not any specific uh, number of sets I have to do. It's just until I feel like they're activated and I should be able to go to the next exercise now. So this third exercise, I what I do is I try to activate or better said maintain the muscle mass inside my leg because I cannot do any exercises or really running or jumping or anything other than this. So this is the only way to keep it active. Um, what I do is I just tense the, the leg as much as possible. Again, I put my toes up to try to um, get that knee as stiff as possible and then try to move the leg up and down. I do this around 10 times, eight to 10 times, up and down and three sets. This exercise is the same goal as the other one, but in a different uh, muscle group. So what I do is I lay on my left side with my right hip upwards. The right hip is because my right leg is the one that got injured. So what I do is I lay there, still my leg is tense. So I put my toes up to my body as much as possible and so that the knee cannot move. So what I do is I just go up and down, same as before with the leg, but this, this time sideways. So what it does is it, it targets a different uh, muscle group. And also this one I do also like around 10 times, eight to 10 times and three sets as well. So this last exercise is the same as before. We try to uh, straighten that leg as much as possible. Don't, don't get the knee uh, moving, but we target a different area again. Um, this time the trajectory of the leg is gonna be a lot less. Um, yeah, also this one we do it around the same time, around eight to 10 times again, and three sets. And that's all the exercises I do to maintain or to keep the leg as active as possible. So I just finished watching the game, the Oberwork game. Um, they played really good. Both teams, they played really, really good. Um, we lost at the end. They made a three pointer at the last second. Bad luck, it can happen. Yeah, um, that's it for this week. Next week, um, the last week uh, before the surgery, and Friday after pre surgery. And yeah, so that's gonna be it. Um, of course, I'm gonna do some other stuff and I'll show you in the next video, but for this week, that's it. I'll show you the clip of the, of the ending of the game. And that's it for this week. So thank you for watching. See you next time.